Let's see who's waiting for us. Hello. Hi. Hi. Now, you look like you must be a giant. <laughs> you think the chair are quite small. How Shall tall I... are you? Are you really, really tall? No. I'm under six feet. Sorry. You're under six feet? Maybe you've got short legs and just an enormous torso. <laughs> What's your name? James. 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 That's what you call a giant. And, uh, <laughs> and what do you do, James? Um, I do a lot of photocopying. Why are we clapping for that? Because it can't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go with the story, James. OK, yeah, so I was meeting my cousin for a beer and I was waiting for a bus um, when, a, 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 like, a big white stretch limo went past and I thought, if I was in a limo, I'd find it hilarious if someone thumbed a lift. Um, so I did, so I stuck my thumb out, but the, the limo went past and I had a little chuckle to myself, oh, what am I like? Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Um, and then I thought nothing of it, I was wait carrying on waiting for my bus. Um, when, five minutes later, the limo turned back up and pulled over and out came a little man in a... a he was an average-sized man, but it... Um, <laughs> he, he, you were a giant, remember? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so he was, like, in the, in the chauffeur's clobber and, and he went, oh, where are you off to? I was like, I'm just going into Lytham to meet my, my cousin. He went, do you, I've got nothing to do for 45 minutes, do you want a lift? Uh -huh. I was like... Um, not really sure what to say. I went, yeah, um, yeah, all right, fine. So I, uh, I got in the car and I was like sat at the back and he's miles away because it's a stretch limo. You've yeah. probably been in one. <laughs> um, and uh, so he went, um, do you want to listen to some music? I went, yeah, all right, fine. So he put on um, James Blunt, You're Beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking. Right. <laughs> Ignore it. It might just be the first CD that was on. Um, so uh, then he said, right, um, the last people that I had in the car, they, um, they didn't finish that bottle of champagne that's on the side. There's half a bottle of champagne on there for you. I was like, that's... This isn't going to go well, is it? <laughs> um, and, then he, and then he said, don't worry, I'm not a rapist. <laughs> right, yeah, that... That sounds all right then, fine. D does this story have a happy ending, James? <laughs> of sorts, yeah. Um... <laughs> He's a good story, yeah. He is a good so anyway, story. We, we, we carried on, we got to, we got to the pub, and um, I went to get out of the car, and they had the child locks on, um, <laughs> which, thankfully, I didn't notice before I started drinking the wine, because I definitely wouldn't have. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so it, it turned out that he had to get out of the car and open the door, like I'd like, arranged it for him to... And I'm listening to James Blunt and drinking <laughs> champagne, and there's only, like, three people stood there, the doorman, going, oh, I thought it was Burt Reynolds, but no, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Queen drinking. <laughs> no. So anyway, yeah, so um that's that. Oh that anyway, so you can walk, you can walk, you can walk, James. Who's up first? Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Rob. Rob. And uh, where do you live, Rob? I live in Market Harbour in Leicestershire. Oh, it's lovely there. Oh, it is. Yeah. Lovely. Michael Palin's been there, mind you, he's been everywhere. Oh, <laughs> What do you do in Market Harbour? Uh, well, I live in Market Harbour, but I work in Swindon. It doesn't get any better than that. Wow, what a <laughs> lovely commute. Um, <laughs> jump out of bed in the morning. <laughs> uh, right, off you go with your story, sir. I was in London, I was walking past Buckingham Palace, um, and I... Now, can I just say, that's a great start. Our expectations are so yeah. high now. <laughs> um, okay. Out, out of the gate comes Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. And he's wearing this flipping hot shirt, and I just said, I just said to him, "Where did you get that shirt from?" Like I've been hanging out with Nelson Mandela for a while. <laughs> what? Did he answer you at all? No, he just grinned a very wide grin, which is very nice. I he bought it from Primark. <laughs> <laughs> I got introduced to Nelson Mandela once, and he, he thanked me for helping to end apartheid. And I feel like I'm not sure I did that much. <laughs> I signed a petition at the night yeah. bus, but... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not as bad as... Hey, I met him and I told him I loved him in Shawshank Redemption. That was really <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding you. Uh, 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 Actually, one more. OK, let's... Why not? Let's... Well, let's one more. This is it. This is, we're hoping... This it's is gonna it. be the turtle. I got... by Michael Bublé. <laughs> Hello. 
hello. Hi, Graham. He looks serious, doesn't he? He looks like he means business. Biker dude. The firm. What's your name, sir? I'm Steve from Belfast. Steve from Belfast. And do you live in Belfast or here? No, I live over in London. All right. What do you do, Steve? I'm a uh, director in a sales company. He's a director in a sales company. Ah. Mm. Oh, yeah. He looks like a bit of a shit. <laughs> <laughs> My balls are so big, mate. <laughs> my legs need to be like this. See, I'm going to protect you. Off you go with your story. Okay, uh, I was in Dublin uh, with my girlfriend, uh, who's now my ex-girlfriend. Um, we were on uh, celebrating our year's anniversary, and we were in a very fancy restaurant. And in the corner, we seen uh, Bono having dinner Ooh. with a uh, friend and uh, being uh, big U2 fans uh, as we are, yes. we thought, should we go over and ask for an autograph and a picture? Oh, go, go! Uh, yeah, but we debated it and we thought yeah. it might not be appropriate. But anyway, uh, Bono got up and went to the toilet and um, this was our chance. So I went over and asked the friend who he was just with one friend and asked do you think uh, Bono would mind if me and my girlfriend got a picture and an autograph? Because we're big U2 fans and it's our year's anniversary. And the friend sent, said, well, he's a very private person and we're having dinner. Go back to your table and when he comes back, if, he, if, he, if he's okay with it, I'll, I'll wave you over. So we went back to the yes. table. Okay. okay, yes. yes. And uh, basically, five minutes later, Bono came back. Only five minutes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bono came back and the friend was waving us over, so we basically ran over like two geeks yeah. and uh, said, Bono, we're a big U2 fan. Yeah, we got all that, yes. <laughs> uh, we're, we're together a year, can we get a, a photo and a picture? He says, yes, no problem. So we give, I give the camera to the friend who then basically took a picture of the three of us and he signed an autograph, no problem. And we went back to our table, very happy. An hour or so later, I said to the waiter, uh, can, I get, can I get the bill? And the waiter said, no, your bill's been paid for. And I said, what, who's paid for that? Has Bono paid for our dinner? And he went, uh, no, Bruce Springsteen did. Oh. Bruce Springsteen was the friend oh. who we didn't recognize. Oh. 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 I, uh, yeah, such an wow. asshole. Oh. You can walk, go, 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 walk, walk, walk. That was That's a story. Good. That's a very good story. Well done. Okay, who's there? Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? I'm Vicky. Vicky, and where do you live, Vicky? Um, I live in London, but I'm from Birmingham. Oh, right, very good. Uh, oh, Birmingham got a, a massive cheer there. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what do you do? Um, I work in marketing for a financial client. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keeping it vague. Drug deal. Very shady. <laughs> Drug it's, deal. it's not great marketing. A financial <laughs> thing. Financial <laughs> client. Yeah, yeah. Right. I won't say too much. You don't want to know too much about it. Uh, okay, off you go with your story. Um, so. I was on a sailing holiday with an ex-boyfriend and his parents um, and one, <laughs> one evening um, we decided to have some drinks on the deck um, and after a little while somebody suggested that everybody jumps into the middle of the sea and does a bit of skinny dipping. Um, after the first Wait a minute, with his parents? <laughs> At the time, I didn't Nasty. think it was weird. <laughs> um, so I swam over to my boyfriend to hold on to him to catch my breath and thought, you know, it's it's the sea and it's dark and oh, skinny no. dipping, no. so no. Let's have some fun. Um, oh. so Vicky, shut up! As I, <laughs> um, as I attempted to do whatever it was that I may or may not have done, um, he looked round and actually his dad looked back at me and said, "Like father, like son, eh?" Oh. 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 So, who's there? Who's there? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Uh, my name's Kay. Kay. Love to get What do you do, Kay? Um, I'm a manager at a university. A manager of oh. a university? I know it is ridiculous, Somebody's isn't it? Got uh, <laughs> Kay finds her job hilarious. <laughs> I manage a university. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> Which university? Oh, no, she can't say she that. Can't. Oh, she, she can't say that. But she could just be vague. It's Wait. City University London? Oh, no, she went straight oh, for she... it. <laughs> <laughs> a city, oh, just famously, a city. Famously badly managed. <laughs>
<laughs> OK, uh, so we like you, Kate. Off you go with your okay, story. thank you. OK, we have a story about my mother who came out of retirement and took a part-time job in an office. And it was around Christmas time and my phone rang on my desk and I picked it up and she was like, hello, Kay. I said, hello, Ma. I said, I'm at the Christmas party, so I've got to be quick. But they're just telling jokes and I don't understand the punchline. So if I give you the punchline, can you explain? I said, yes, yeah, sure, Mom. Carry on. And she went, what's a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, OK, so I explained what, as best I could, what a blowjob was. Yep. How did you explain it? How did you explain it? In grown-up terms. <laughs> well done, Kate. And then there was a pause on the end of the phone. I thought, oh, my God, she's gone away to do something. And suddenly she went, OK, thanks, bye! <laughs> Is that...? <laughs> oh, we wanted more of you. Sorry, Kate. Sorry, Kate. That promised so much. I know. Yes. I thought the mother was going to have her own name for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that oh. thing your father liked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would have been a good story. I should have met Kate before. Then say. Do yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have one more? Let's yes. have one more. one more. Okay, okay. Hi. Hi there. I'm Bernie. <laughs> Bernie, lovely. Yeah. What do you do? I work in HR at a bank. HR at a bank. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we do not judge you. It's an honest profession. Off you go uh, with your story. Okay, so basically I was on a boat on the way to PP Island in Thailand a couple of years ago with my mate. Um, she offered me a seasickness tablet and I said, nah, she'd be right, mate, this will be fine. Um, turns out it was one of the roughest seas that I've ever experienced in my life. It was so up and down, within 30 minutes half the boat started throwing up, it was disgusting, I started growing green and of course I grab a sick bag, throw up in it, sorry, um, and basically I was about to throw it out because it was disposable outside the side of the boat um, until I realised that like a massive wave it hit the boat and it went flying up had smashed it into this poor old lady who couldn't speak any english and went all over her face and her chest so i had to apologize profusely hosing her down the next hour it was so <laughs> so if you're watching right now i'm still sorry i've got a question was it a lumpy one or was it a watery one? <laughs> Like, Rita, like, watery vomit's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, that's a borderline one. Uh, yeah. Walk, flip, walk, flip. Oh, okay, like oh, that. Oh, 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 that was so good. Who was that first? Hi. I'm John. Hello, John. And uh, where do you live, John? Staines. Staines. John from Staines. Okay. And uh, what do you do, John? I'm an electronics engineer. OK, Ooh, this is on. it, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. We, I don't think we've ever nice. had an electronics engineer on the show before. Uh, so we have high hopes for you, John. Uh, off you go with your story. OK, this happened in 1980 when I was at school in Devizes, which Excellent. Is it's a period piece, <laughs> Harvey. It's a period piece. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the budget will be higher, but there's a lot... People are very... Yeah. Yeah, they like that. They like that. <laughs> OK, I was at school in Devizes, which is a small town near Swindon. Yes. And uh, in the dinner queue, and in the distance on the school field, I saw what looked like a Great Dane bounding towards us. And everyone laughed because somebody's dog had obviously followed them to school. But it came on at phenomenal speed, came up the steps where I was standing, brushed past my leg and smashed straight through the plate glass window behind me. And when we looked through the hole in the door, it was a lion, Graham. John! John, come on, Harvey! <laughs> Africa. No, seriously. Well, you know he's in devices. We could do it in Africa. But he's in it's better because he's in England. Right, okay. You don't expect in Africa. It's a lion. Who cares? <laughs> in devices, it's a lion. <laughs> What's it doing there? Where did it come from? Good question. Um, that's why. That's why we're gripped to our seats. Well, <laughs> where did the lion come it? from? Well, well, wait a minute. What did, did it kill anyone? No. No, they were... Did they it were... maim anyone? No. Was so, it really a lion we or have you lied? It was actually a lion. Was it a dog <laughs> with a balclava on? And uh, <laughs> the pl it police marksmen were at the school the whole afternoon while we hid in the library and they rounded up these two lions that got into the school. Two? What? And wow. what had happened was that the, the travelling circus has arrived in town while we were at morning lessons. Is this just an but... Enid Blyton story? <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> You're recycling for the purpose of our show. The brilliant thing about um, this story is that for today is that the lions turned out to be called Gurley and Jesse. Oh. 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 I think we have to let John walk. Yeah. 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 Is he finished? Oh, sorry. Police marksman with the school all afternoon. Did they afternoon. get back okay? Were they all right? No, I imagine they got shot and Did he dead. cut his head when he went through the glass? The 
I, the lions, lions are dead. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we have one more? Should we have one more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Harvey's buoyed up now, because now he, yeah, he's that thinking, yeah. That was, uh, just, that was that good about really that. Good. Wow. A provincial yeah. English school, but lions. The lion of devices. News. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Why didn't we know that story? I'm going to look it up when I get home. Yeah, yeah. maybe he's made it up. I discovered it's a lot of bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's next? Who's next? Hello. Hello. What's your name? Kate. Kate, lovely. Oh, and where are you from, really? Kate? Uh, East London. East London. And what, what, do you, what do you do? I'm a teacher. Hey. I'm, I'm not. I've never did. Oh. <laughs> uh, and I know you teach children, but what subject do you teach? Um, re well, they're reception age, so they're only four and five. Ah. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> it's a feel good. Feel good. You could combine the two. They could all be attacked by lions. <laughs> it's great. In school alone. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, sorry, Kate. Off you go with your story. Um, well, I was in um, Buffalo, New York, a couple of years ago, looking oh. after a dog, and we, I took I took him for a walk, and obviously he did his business in the park. Then I looked for his doggy bag in my in my pockets, and I picked up the business, put it in the dog bin, and that was it. We um, we started to walk back to the lady's house, and I was fumbling around for her keys, and I was like. Oh my gosh, where are the keys? Oh, no. So I walked back, oh, like no. retraced all our steps with the dog, and then realized it dawned on me they must be in the poo bag with the poo. Oh. Oh no. Is that the end of your story? Oh then well then yeah, I Yeah, you'd have picked through poo, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was doing that, but then I decided no, I'm not gonna touch that. Went back, was locked out for two hours, and then had to get a new key cut by the neighbour. Oh. She wouldn't pick through the dog. Yeah, I <laughs> The shit I'm, down. I'm flipping her. <laughs> that is lazy. That's not a film. That's not a film, Audrey. No one's paying to see a girl not pick through yeah. dog food. <laughs> Just going, oh, I better get a new key card. Yeah. <laughs> the setup was great, but you want to see yeah. those yes. fingernails yeah. dirty, yeah. don't you? No. <laughs> You wanted to pick through the poo and then realise that actually the keys were in yes. this pocket or something. <laughs> then she does, she can't get out of it. She's stay in Oh, yeah. yeah. And great. then it turns out the dog's a lion and yeah. a cat. <laughs> so, uh, who, who do we have? Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> 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 okay, I remember this from last time. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. Well, why don't you do that and tell you what happens? Do it right now? Let's do it right now, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this from last That's time. What happened. Yeah. Can he come back now? Oh, he's finished? That's yeah. not that. You, you spared us a lot there. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to be cruel, but uh, oh, Jennifer wanted to try the thing. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, another one. Here we go, here we go. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name's Eve. Eve? Where are you from, Eve? Uh, I live near Twickenham. Twickenham, lovely part of the world. You should go there, Jennifer. It's very nice. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing it tomorrow. Oh, yes. <laughs> On it. Very good. <laughs> Forbes list. You yeah. can see why. <laughs> Sorry, Eve. Off you go with your story. OK, so I was walking down the road and I didn't have a lot of time to get ready, so as I was walking past um, a window... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the we couch took a poll. We took a poll. Uh, okay, one final one. One final one. Here we go. Quick, quick, quick. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. That's good to know. Uh, what's your name? Caroline. <laughs> Caroline. And where do you live, Caroline? I live in Middlesex. All oh, right. And what do you do there? Okay. I'm a nanny, but oh. not for long. Maybe on Monday after this story. <laughs> Okay. I don't think that's the sort of thing the BBC <laughs> should be broadcasting. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> OK, off you go with your story. Um, long time ago, I went on a blind date. Um, it didn't start very well. I got put on by a pigeon at the train station, <laughs> drank far too much wine, and he decided it would be a really good idea to go see a late-night movie in Leicester Square. So, having fallen asleep in the cinema, I thought, go to the loo, get myself together, come back, thought, I'm losing this guy here. So I sat down and started having a little fumble in his lap. 
And this um, girl leaned forward and said, um, excuse me, what are you doing with my boyfriend? I'm feeling up the wrong guy. My bed is five rows behind. So I had to apologise without getting punched in the face and then stagger back up the stairs to my guy who just looked at me like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> That's my story. You can walk! Yeah. Ah, you can walk! Good story, good story. He's up first. All right, yes. Hello. Hello. Uh, what's your name? I'm Leslie. Leslie, this is Leslie, everyone. Where are you from, Leslie? <laughs> Elstree. Elstree? Oh, yeah. It, near the film studios? Yeah, not far. Oh, does your story involve celebrity? No, just me. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, what do you do in Elstree? Uh, well, I work, I'm an administrator for a, a charity. Okay, we'll just draw a veil. Um, <laughs> and, uh, off you go with your story. Um, so I was at a dinner party and uh, with all the family mm -hmm. and uh, I'd been eating some olives and uh, my dad <laughs> told a joke. <laughs> Showing off with her fucking olives. I was eating olives. <laughs> Doesn't impress us, does it, rumour? Six ninety nine for biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up next? Who's up next? Hello? <laughs> They love you. They love you. I don't know who you are. They love you. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. And uh, what do you do, Jeremy? Uh, I'm a student. Of? Acting. Acting? Who's a student of acting? Where are you going? Uh, Lambda. Oh. <laughs> Is very good. I'm in a mood, Steve. I'm I in a mood. Tell. Yes. Tell. Uh, should we try one more? Well, this, this is the one. The third one's the charm. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Uh, what, what, what's your name? Louise. Louise? Yeah. Louise, all right. And where are you from, Louise? London, Shoreditch. Shoreditch? Oh, very cool. She's a hipster. <laughs> and uh, what do you do in Shoreditch? I work for a fashion designer. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. Off you over this story. So, one time uh, last year, I pretended to be Charlene's sister. So, one of my friends, she works in... Prosthetics. Which Charlene? This Charlene? Yes. Charlize. Charlize, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I, I draw the line with the last name. You can screw up my last name all you want. But, but God I... damn it, not my first. <laughs> <laughs> That's Charlene Theron. She's great. <laughs> okay, let's try one more. One more. This is it. This is it. This is really, really the last one. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Hello, nice lady. Hello. Hi, hi. What's your name? Jenny. Jenny. All right, Jenny. And where are you from? I'm Dutch American. Okay, lovely. And uh, where do you live now? In Tufnell Park. Okay. <laughs> She puts the tough into Tufnel. <laughs> Tufnel Park. <laughs> Don't mess with me. She's Jenny from the block. <laughs> okay. uh, off you go with the story. Okay. I'm a veterinarian and I was working at an orangutan rescue centre. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, I love this story already. <laughs> I love it. And during one of the first weeks there, I was at the baby playground where all the baby and toddler orangutans can play with the ropes and in the trees. And I wasn't really aware of how things rolled in that orangutan rescue center. And I was just observing the toddlers playing and swinging around when I felt something kind of wet pressing against my palm, the palm of my hand. And when I looked, it was one of these toddler orangutans that was masturbating himself <laughs> with my hand <laughs> with his tiny little penis rubbing <laughs> against my hand. more. Give more, Jenny. Okay, there you go. Well done. You like that. That's a good story. So, uh, let's see who's up first. <gasps> Hello. Hiya. Hi. What's your name, sir? Jordan. Jordan. Where are you from, Jordan? Uh, London. London. And uh, do you have a job, Jordan? I work in sports marketing, Graham. Sports marketing? The gear or the sports? Uh, a bit of both. OK, yeah, nice, nice. See, uh, you know, yeah, a bit of everything. <laughs> sports, he markets it. Yeah, yeah. Don't push him. <laughs> uh, off you go with your story. All right, Bradley James, you're going to love this. It's about my worst day ever, so a bit of sympathy wouldn't go miss. What, would took... Lenny not like the story? Oh, Lenny, sorry, Lenny. Yeah, Lenny might like the story too. <laughs> and, uh, I took Jessica a... and Sarah, they might like the story. <laughs> 
I took a girl out for a date on a boat. Might I like the story? <laughs> Like the story, <laughs> we were hoping for a crowd pleaser. It's uh... good, it's good, it's good. Man. Okay, I'll... um, I took a girl out for dinner on a boat, it was a lovely boat. Had a lovely evening, she chose the most expensive things on the menu, it was going really well. A couple of bottles of wine on school night, can't go wrong. I'm thinking, right, I'm in, I'm in. We pay, we leave. I go in for the killer kiss. Bear in mind, we're on a boat, it's right by the river. She'd cycled to the restaurant because it was in Amsterdam, got to the river part, went in for one peck on the cheek. I'm thinking, right, this is it. Go for the second part. Then she's adjusting her scarf, elbows me in the face. I'm in the river. <laughs> she then biked off and left me there. <gasps> <laughs> that is a, okay. No one comes out of that story well. <laughs> <laughs> Walker did that. Walker did. Walker did. Walk. It's an alright story. Walk. Yeah. 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 I think walk. it's good. Yeah. Okay, you can walk, walk, sir. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, a girl wouldn't do that lightly, would she? It's probably a, probably a bell end. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason that you fill up on the food, because if the chat's going well, you think, well, you know, maybe I don't want to be too full so I can do stuff later on. Is this... <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. Yeah, right about that, it's just me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 you're right. You, yeah, thank you're you, right about thank that. You. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny will look out for that in the future when he's on dates. Good. She's eating a lot. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> She's having pasta. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, do we have one more? One more. One more. Hello. Hi, Graham. Hi. What's Hi, your name? Bradley. Hi. My name's Paula. 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 Yes. Right. And where are you from, Paula? Uh, Whitechapel. And what do you do in Whitechapel, Paula? I live there, but I'm a teacher. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Paula, and uh, what do you teach subjects or? Uh, primary school teacher. Oh, I see. So you teach Since, everything. Yeah, St. Saviour's Primary School, Poplar. Oh, lovely. I'll, I'll look out for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Paula, off you go with your story. Well, I decided to take up cycling and I cycled the eight miles from Tottenham, where I lived at that time, to Orga East, where I taught at that time. And that evening, my boyfriend, my then boyfriend, phoned me up to find out how it had gone. <laughs> Your uh, life has changed so much, it Paula. Has we can hardly <laughs> keep up with it. But anyway. Neither can I. Um, he phoned me up to find out how the ride had gone and I said, well, it's okay, I said, but I did find Stamford Hill a bit of a challenge. So he said to me, well, what gear were you in? I said, well, I had my tracksuit trainers and my oh. cycle. <laughs> well done. Oh. Who's, who's up first? Oh. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. OK, next one now. Hello. Hello, Graham. Hi, did I meet you outside earlier? I don't think so. No, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think you'd remember. <laughs> My name's in the show title. <laughs> what are you going to see? I don't know. <laughs> Just on this queue. <laughs> I don't own a television. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Paula. Paula. Hello, Paula. And where are you from? Islington. Islington. And do you have a job, Paula? Yeah, I'm a manager of a sheltered accommodation. Oh, very good. All right. Doing good work. And uh, off you go with the story. Right, so years ago I had four kids under the age of seven and my husband, who was quite lazy, had joined a Sunday <laughs> football league team thing. Anyway, he used to come home every Sunday, three sheets to the wind, sit on the set eight, where's me dinner? <laughs> dinner? And then he'd fall asleep. And I just thought, you know what, I've really had enough of this. So he'd come home and I'd wait for him to fall asleep and I'd make up some gravy and I'd flick it on his shirt. And then he'd wake up and he'd say, where's my dinner? I'd say, you've had it, look, it's down there. <laughs> We went on to join the um, summer league, and it was a really hot summer, so he used to come home, strip off to his boxers, and fall asleep on the set. So I couldn't do the gravy thing anymore, which really annoyed me. And I was hoovering one day, it was really hot, the kids were screaming, I was doing the washing, it was all manic, and I just thought, oh, I'm so fed up with him. And as I looked round, he had those boxer shorts on with the little buttons, and his little chappy was just pointing out a little bit. <laughs> and this thing really said to me, take the pole off the, off the hoover. And I went over, I pulled what? his pants aside, <laughs> and I went to go, and I thought, no, no, don't do it. And before I could get away, it just lifted out and went... <laughs> <laughs> he shut up and went, what the... 
Because that, where I run in the bathroom, and all I could think to shout back was the best blowjob you'll ever have. <laughs> <laughs> Clapping. The choir are applauding.